ABC 7 News at 5. The city of Oakland announced a new plan today to keep the lights and heat on inside properties facing foreclosure. It's welcome news for tenants coping with the cold weather this holiday season. ABC 7 Cecilia Vega is live tonight for us in Oakland. Cecilia. That's right. We're here in front of one of those buildings where renters were forced to live without water because the building's in foreclosure. City officials say it's an, a common that this is a problem that's all too common here in Oakland, and one that uh, th that many renters don't even learn about until it's too late. No lights, no heat. It I had no choice, you know. Tina Marie Williams lived in her Oakland apartment for two weeks with no power or water. The utility shut off because the landlord stopped paying the bills when the property went into foreclosure. The water went first. I had electric stove, so I was able to boil water as if I was back in the olden days. Followed by the electricity. But now, Oakland City government is stepping in to protect tenants like Williams. City Attorney John Russo signed a declaration that makes shutting off the water or power in foreclosed rental properties a threat to public health. And that means under state law, utility companies would have to wait 120 days before flipping the switch on renters. This loss of water and power forces tenants to live in inhumane and unsafe conditions, and especially at this time of the year, represents an immediate and dangerous threat to the health and safety of Oakland. Oakland has been hit hard by the nation's foreclosure crisis, with as many as 15,000 foreclosure filings just in recent months. And city officials say they've heard of hundreds of cases where renters had their utilities shut off because their landlord couldn't make the payments. Entre, entre, Marta Angelica is among them. Tres o meses. This Oakland apartment where she and her children live is in foreclosure. The power here has been shut off four times in as many months. pg e says it will comply with Oakland's order. Uh, we're caught in between um, landlord that may have uh, uh, defaulted on a particular loan and the tenants. Now, pg e says it will postpone shutting off tenants' power, but officials from the city's water agency, East Bay Mud, says, say they're going to wait and see whether they plan to comply. They will discuss the issue at the agency's next meeting in January. Reporting live from Oakland, Cecilia Vega, ABC 7 News. All right, thank you, Cecilia. CBS 5 Eyewitness News starts now. Adding insult to injury, a plea to PG&E, banks and landlords to stop a practice that can be deadly. The city of Oakland drew a line in the sand today. It told landlords, banks and PG&E to stop putting tenants' lives at risk. When homes foreclose, utilities get shut off and that can be dangerous. Anna Duckworth is in East Oakland now to tell us what the city is trying to do. Anna? Well, Wendy, this is one of the tens of thousands of buildings in Oakland that, that have been foreclosed on in the past year, and there were still people living in the apartments inside when the power, heat, and water were shut off. Well, the city of Oakland is now saying that's a public health and safety threat, and it issued a declaration today to stop those types of shutoffs. We found out we were in foreclosure by a young man coming to put a notice on the mailbox. Tina Marie Williams was a renter at this East Oakland apartment complex last winter, but her landlord's problem soon became hers. The first thing turned off was water. A week later, PG&E came out and turned off the power that heats the hot water. I was literally boiling hot water to stay at my home. Williams went another week before she could track down the bank that owned the building and work out a plan with PG&E. To stop situations like hers, the city of Oakland announced a new measure today that puts landlords and banks on notice. Too many banks, particularly those who have engaged in the purchase of predatory loans, have become landlords of foreclosed properties and they treat those properties as if they were merely slums. State law forbids utilities from being turned off in multi-unit buildings when the city says it could pose a public threat or health hazard. It's an obvious fact that if you cut off the water and or the heat, it's a health and safety problem for a family. We really don't have to have a live inspector go over and say, yup, yup, it's water's off and that's bad. This comes less than a week after eight people living in a foreclosed property in Redwood City nearly died from carbon monoxide poisoning. They had put a generator in the basement after PG&E shut off their power. We are seeing uh, an increase in, in shutoffs and an increase in, in customers who are, are having a little more trouble paying their bills. Oakland wants PG&E and the East Bay Municipal Water District to delay cutting off utilities on foreclosed properties until four months 
after the first shutoff notice goes out. It's about giving tenants in these properties enough time to determine who is their landlord now. And PG&E typically gives 15 days notice before shutoffs. It is not committing to the 120 days, but said it is working with Oakland. The city attorney's office, meanwhile, says it is ready to go after banks that don't keep up with their properties' utility payments. In Oakland, Anna Duckworth, CBS 5. A continuación, Noticias Univisión 14 a las 6. La crisis hipotecaria ahora está afectando a quienes un día rentaron una propiedad sin saber que estaban a punto del embargo. Hablamos de los inquilinos, quienes sin deberla ni temerla están sufriendo el corte de servicios básicos como la electricidad. Como nos cuenta Fernando Gómez, en Oakland ya tomaron medidas para proteger a esos moradores. Fernando. Alejandro, gracias. Muy buenas tardes. El abogado de la ciudad de Oakland dijo que por razones de salud es necesario hacer algo para evitar que durante esta temporada de frío más familias se quedaran súbitamente sin electricidad. La crisis hipotecaria también está afectando a muchos inquilinos. La familia Martínez teme volver a quedarse sin agua y electricidad, ya que el edificio que alquilan en Oakland fue embargado. Queremos saber qué va a pasar con nosotros, si nos van a sacar de ahí o nos van a dejar ahí. Y ya van como cuatro veces que nos cortan la agua. Y tenemos que andar pidiendo agua a los vecinos. Algunos no sabían a dónde acudir para pedir ayuda. Y tenemos un problema muy fuerte, realmente no sabemos qué hacer y estábamos pidiendo la ayuda de la ciudad y tocante a los problemas de luz, agua, gas, uh, los han querido cortar y estamos luchando con eso para que no los corten. Y... Después de escuchar numerosas quejas como estas, la ciudad de Oakland declaró que suspender los servicios de agua y electricidad a los inquilinos cuyas propiedades o edificios de apartamentos han sido embargados representa una amenaza para la salud de los habitantes y por ese motivo aprobaron una medida que busca prevenir que esto siga ocurriendo. Eso es una de las razones por qué han pasado esta ley, porque digamos, estamos tratando de cuidar la digamos, el salud de las personas, porque especialmente en estos tiempos de, de donde están haciendo frío y todo eso, uh, le puede afectar digamos, la salud digamos, de los hijos y todo eso. El abogado de la ciudad, John Russo, declaró hoy durante una conferencia de prensa que son muchos los inquilinos que se están viendo afectados. Bajo las leyes de California, las compañías de electricidad no pueden suspender los servicios a edificios de apartamentos después de que una ciudad declara que esto podría representar una amenaza para la salud pública. Por medio del nuevo plan, piden a las compañías de electricidad que extiendan el periodo a 120 días antes de cortar los servicios de electricidad y agua en viviendas reposeídas con inquilinos. Las autoridades de Oakland piden a las familias que se encuentren en situaciones similares que presenten una queja en las oficinas del abogado de esa ciudad o que se comuniquen también a organizaciones comunitarias como ACORN para averiguar si violaron las leyes al suspenderles los servicios de agua y electricidad. Alejandro.